The Unity Party of America is a centrist political party founded on November 4, 2004 which has a membership in 38 states Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia and Wisconsin listed on its website, as well as the District of Columbia under the name, Unity Party of New Columbia. Origins <inaudible> 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 The Unity Party began in an online discussion forum in November 2004 and grew out of the Unity Runners organization, as the Unity Party website puts it. The Unity Party of America movement had its beginnings in the concept of running marathons to raise campaign contributions for political candidates. Unity Runners, in turn, had its origins in Runners for Clark, an antecedent organization which supported the presidential candidacy of General Wesley Clark. On June 16, 2016, Chairman Hammonds used YouTube to disavow any affiliation with Clark, while outlining the transition from Runners for Clark to Unity Runners to the Unity Party of America. Party founder Bill Hammonds has been the party's national chairman since its inception, as well as the party's Colorado State Party chairman. History Eric Bodenstab is described on the Unity Party website as having been the first Unity Party candidate, declaring in May 2007 for Boulder, Colorado City Council, even though that is a nonpartisan election. The Unity Party fielded two congressional candidates in the 2008 election cycle Bill Hammonds in Colorado's 2nd District, who received 2,176 votes or 0.63%, and Terry Ronzio in Pennsylvania's 12th District, who did not qualify for the ballot. Sherman Reichert declared for Brandt, New York Town Council with the Unity Party. Bill Hammonds declared for Colorado's 2nd District again on June 22, 2009. Energy drilling consultant Levi Hancock declared as the first Unity Party candidate for Colorado governor in 2009, and oilfield drilling engineer Mike Nelson declared as a Unity Party candidate for Colorado's 4th Congressional District. Hammonds and Nelson are both former residents of Odessa, Texas, even though both now live in Colorado. On January 11, 2010, Navy veteran and Pueblo, Colorado resident Ray Roman declared as the Unity Party's first candidate for U.S. Senate, running against incumbent Senator Michael Bennett. That same month, Hammonds appeared on Denver 9 News Your Show to make the case for changing Colorado election law and allowing the Unity Party's more recently affiliated candidates to petition onto the general election ballot as Unity Party candidates, along with himself. On May 27, 2010, Colorado Governor Bill Ritter signed House Bill 10-1271, which allowed, beginning in 2012, Colorado's unaffiliated candidates for public office including, technically, Unity Party candidates to run for office if their voter registration had not changed during the year of the election in question. An April 9, 2010 Colorado Statesman article highlighted the fact that the Unity Party of Colorado had fielded twice as many candidates in 2010 as the Green Party Party of Colorado, and four times as many candidates as the Constitution Party of Colorado. On July 15, 2010, Hammonds announced his withdrawal from the second CD race, citing challenges in obtaining the required number of petition signatures to appear on the ballot a second time. His fellow three Unity Party Colorado candidates had withdrawn as well. The party was recognized in the state of Colorado from 2008 to 2011 as a qualified political organization as a direct result of the petition of Unity Party congressional candidate Bill Hammonds onto the 2008 general election ballot with 899 valid signatures. As a QPO, the Unity Party was designated on the Colorado voter registration form as a voter affiliation option, and 179 voters had affiliated with the Unity Party as of October 22, 2008, an increase of 92% over the party's voter registration numbers just three weeks before. 
407 Colorado voters had affiliated with the Unity Party as of June 1, 2011, before the party was removed from the state voter registration form as a result of its failure to place a candidate on the general election ballot in the 2010 election cycle. As outlined below, the Unity Party of Colorado was placed back on the voter registration form three years later in 2014 and as of November 2016, had more than twice as many registered Colorado voters than it did before being removed from the state's registration form in 2011. In June 2010, the Unity Party of Utah launched the first state Unity Party website, UnityUtah.com, and announced its inintention to petition, as a party, onto Utah's 2012 ballot. As of October 2016, one national, eight state Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, New York, South Carolina and Texas, and two candidate Roger Nichols for President, Bill Hammonds for U.S. Senate Facebook pages were linked to from the Unity Party National website homepage. On April 27, 2011, Jim Pirtle of Colorado Springs declared as the Unity Party's first and only candidate of the 2012 election cycle, for Colorado's 5th Congressional District. He received 22,738 votes, or 7.41%. However, he appeared on the ballot as a libertarian. In August 2014, the Unity Party was placed back on Colorado's voter registration form as the option, Unity, as a result of Hemmons's successful petition onto the ballot for the 2014 Colorado U.S. Senate election. In the general election, Hammonds came sixth out of six candidates, with 0.3% of the vote 6,427 votes. As of November 1, 2014, 142 Colorado voters had affiliated with the party, an increase of over 200% over the previous month. As of June 1, 2017, 999 Colorado voters had affiliated with the party, placing it within one registered voter of achieving the next level of party status in the state as a minor party able to place its candidates directly onto general election ballots by primary or assembly, without the need for petitions. The Unity Party achieved that new minor party status on June 5, 2017, with 1,002 affiliated voters, and had accrued 1,262 affiliated voters as of August 1. 2018, increasing membership at an average rate of 2% a month since achieving full party status. On November 4, 2015, the United National Committee registered with the Federal Election Commission, with Reed Strauss Tallman listed as treasurer and Galen Woodson Burkaw as assistant treasurer, though Bill Hammonds is listed as the chairman and custodian of records, and W.R. Hammonds is listed on the submission envelope's return address. On November 15, Hammonds was mentioned by the Longmont Times call as a Unity Party candidate in the 2016 Colorado U.S. Senate race. As of July 21, 2016, Hammonds was listed as an official Unity Party of Colorado candidate to appear on the November general election ballot and, at least as of the end of July, was the only Colorado U.S. Senate candidate to successfully petition onto the general election ballot, out of four candidates who attempted to do so. At the end of August 2016, Hammonds was profiled in the Colorado Independent as Mr. Middle and an alternative to the alternatives. Hammonds came in fifth out of seven candidates in the 2016 Colorado U.S. Senate race, with 8,408 votes in the November general election, though his vote count was later revised upward to 9,336. At the end of 2016, Hammonds was listed as a 2018 Unity Party candidate for Colorado governor, and was quoted as saying, The establishment parties just might have a surprise of Pearl Harbor proportions in store in 2018. In August 2018 it was announced that Unity Party gubernatorial nominee Hammonds, along with his running mate Eric Bodenstab, would be appearing in the third slot on the Colorado statewide ballot, directly below the Democratic and Republican candidates and above the Libertarian candidates the Constitution and Green parties had failed to field candidates. Logos <laughs> 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 In September 2016, the Unity Party changed its logo to the U Check symbol. The U Check appeared alongside Hammonds's image during a candidate forum aired on Rocky Mountain PBS, then changed it back to the tripartite triangle. Topic: <laughs> Uniter nickname. In September 2017, Unity Party members agreed to begin to refer to themselves as 
uniters, losing alternatives were unis and upis. <laughs> Unity Party of Colorado The Unity Party of Colorado was a qualified political organization in that state until June 2017 i.e., it was an official option as Unity on the state's voter registration form, but its candidates still had to petition onto the general election ballot. As of June 5, 2017, the party had 1,002 affiliated Colorado voters, and thus achieved minor party status in the state i.e., the party is now able to place its candidates directly onto the general election ballot by primary, petition or assembly. Platform <inaudible> 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 As of its April 2016 National Convention in Colorado, the Unity Party platform lists 18 positions A balanced budget amendment, with a call for an Article 5 convention to pass it and other constitutional amendments An affirmation of the Second Amendment An affirmation of the Fourth Amendment Replacing federal income taxes with a carbon tax as a means of balancing the budget, combating global warming, and encouraging the development of alternative energy sources." A full tax deduction for the health care costs of all Americans, forced to pay for their own health coverage, a tithe pool to guarantee entitlement programs on a year-by-year -year basis, support for all Efforts to get the U.S. military better health care and retirement benefits, as well as making it easier for veterans to get access to the benefits they need. No question asked. Support of global free trade with provisions for a global minimum wage and carbon tariffs. Term limits of two terms for U.S. senators and four terms for U.S. representatives. Term limits of 12 years for federal judges, including U.S. Supreme Court justices. The enhancement of electoral security with paper receipts for all individual votes in federal elections Outlawing the drawing of legislative districts along partisan lines i.e., outlawing gerrymandering A repeal of Citizens United v. FEC A resign-to-run proposal forcing federal officeholders to resign immediately upon filing for a primary election for a higher office, to allow for the holding of replacement elections in a seamless and efficient manner. Raising the U.S. political donation age to 16 and lowering the voting age to 16. Support of a focused, efficient and aggressive U.S. space program to provide us with the life jacket humankind might need. Support for District of Columbia statehood with appropriate provisions for federal property. Support for the right of self-determination for all peoples, including their right to establish new states. The party's motto is not right, not left, but forward. <laughs> United National Committee The United National Committee, the governing body of the Unity Party of America per the Unity Party Constitution adopted on April 17, 2010, was formed on the same day. As of August 2018, the UNC consists of 32 members. Notes and references <laughs> External links Official website